Okay, so we, we've been studying the Hakdama, this um, uh, introduction to the Tanya that was written by the Alter Rebbe. And what the Alter Rebbe is trying to do is, it, um, number one, he's trying to um, explain why he is um, going to be satisfied and why we should be satisfied with having a book of Tanya versus having Yechidus private audience with the Alter Rebbe. And um, obviously it was a very tough, uh, uh, con- it was very tough to convince people that you don't need to meet with me, you can just use my book and uh, that'll be enough because of course they had a very close, they felt very close to the Alter Rebbe and it was a, an awesome experience to be able to be with the, Al- the Alter Rebbe. Imagine being in, the or- in, the, in his presence uh, in a private audience with the Alter Rebbe would be uh, phenomenal. It would be like, uh, you know, it would be gr- the, one of the greatest experiences in your entire life. And, uh, and yet the Alter Rebbe was, um, of course, overwhelmed with everything that was on his shoulders. And uh, because of that, he, you know, he, 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 um, he felt he needed to uh, 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 end the, um, you know, the, uh, uh, at least to a, to, to, a, to a major, to a large extent. And therefore uh, he's writing this book and then he, and he's writing in the introduction an explanation of uh, that, although he acknowledges the problems with a book, this, there is a reason why this is going to suffice. Miranda, you have a question. Yes, I'm sorry. I missed a class. Is this called the compiler's forward? The introduction? Yes. Yes. Called, okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, great. Thanks. So, um, so the the Alter Rebbe ex, uh, started with the acknowledgement that um, when a person studies books about fear of heaven or serving, you know, we're calling them Sifre Hayira, books of fear of heaven, but it really means uh, the way to serve Hashem, and uh, it uses the term Yira. Yira literally means fear, but it, it, it's encomp- it's, a, it's a term that encompasses. Uh, the entire service of Hashem. If you really, uh, you know, want to serve Hashem, uh, of course, it includes Yira, fearing heaven, loving Hashem, and so on. So the 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 the, the, the limitations of these Sifre Hayira of books about fearing Hashem um, is that number one, person who reads them um, maybe uh, might not understand everything that he's reading. Uh, especially if he's uh, uh, not taking, uh, not um, not absorbing what he's reading properly because he's confused. Um, another term that's used here is chashecha yeshalachu. He's walking in darkness, um, um, so he's not benefiting from what he's reading because. Um, Number one was his mind is not absorbing it. Uh, he doesn't understand it. Or he is going in darkness means like he's on such a low level that it's not awakening him. He's, he's walking in darkness, so to speak. Um, so uh, these are two of the problems with reading books. While if a person was face to face with the Alter Rebbe, you know, he, he would be able to, uh, number one, take him out of his confusion. Uh, direct him, and also uh, see how to inspire him, see what will inspire him, and so on. So the um, the the problem with Sifrei Hayira, these books of inspiration, uh, don't affect people who are who have a problem. The the recipient, the reader, could you know could have a problem. Another problem with uh, Sifrei Hayira, such books of about serving Hashem, um, is that um, uh, if it's based on logic, so not everyone thinks the same way, Uh, you know, people think different ways and, um, and it's impossible to write a book that's going to, or it's impossible to at least, uh, uh, you know, uh, concentrate, use logic that will affect everyone because uh, it's not something that's, uh, that, that, you know, that, that you can, you can't relate to all, every, people think in different, different, different ways of, different ways of thinking. Um, and we brought a source, even in Torah, Chacham Harazim, that there's a bracha you make when, 
uh, shout you that when 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 you see six hundred thousand people, because everyone has a different way of thinking. And uh, we brought also a Ramban. The Ramban says that it's all it's not only based on on the fact that people have different ways of thinking, but we said that there's a like a special inspiration that you have to have to be able to relate to all the people, and that's called ruach. Ish asher ruach lekimboy, and that was the Ramban's emphasis that. Uh, 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 n- you know, most people can't almost, uh, there's almost no one that could really relate to all different ways of thinking. And it was something unique about Yehoshua that he was able to have the Ruach, the spirit of Hashem. So it's not even based on your, 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 even a person who's very wise and uh, wouldn't be able to relate to every, every person. It would be something miraculous for them to relate called Ruach, that they are connected to the to a high level of spirituality that they could connect with different people. So that would be a logical book of how to serve Hashem. In other words, it would be a book based on logic to serve Hashem. That such a book would be good, but it would not be able to relate to all, to all people. Then you have books that are based on my more chazal. So in other words, you could have a book that's based on all statements from the Medrash and from the Gemaras and uh, other sources that uh, are all based on Torah, Chumash, Tanakh, and so on. And, 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 uh, and it would grab little uh, statements that would com- combine into a book that would be inspirational. And these would bring you to serve Hashem. So that would be a, a, a safer that's Yesoidoisim Bahar Re Kodesh. Its sources are in holy mountains, meaning in words of Chazal, in words of the rabbis. And such a book is not based on logic, it's based on Torah. Now, every Yid is connected to the whole Torah. So such a book, you'll say, oh, that's such a, such a safer definitely connects to every single person. So that would be a way to, 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 to give a possibly that would work to 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 inspire someone to serve Hashem based on such a such a book because it's all based on Torah and we know every Yid has a letter in the Torah uh, Yisrael the word Yisrael which means the Jewish people Yisrael Israel if you it's an acronym Yesh Shishim Riboy Oisios Latayra there's six hundred thousand letters in the Torah and we also know there's six hundred thousand souls of the Jewish people. And we mentioned that every soul is really divided into many sparks. And there's a source that says that every spark is divided into 600,000. So theoretically, uh, there, there are 360 trillion s- sparks of neshamis. Uh, uh, we haven't reached that amount of yidin, but that would be the amount of souls after we would reach that amount of yidin. I, we could ask, where is the, how are there more yidin? Than sparks because if there's six hundred thousand souls and you multiply the six hundred thousand initial original souls and each soul is divided into six hundred thousand, it would come out that there's thirty three hundred and sixty trillion. If you multiply six hundred thousand and six hundred thousand, I believe that's three hundred and sixty trillion. Uh, so there are actually three hundred and sixty trillion souls that you know we could that 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 are there, but every single one of them is connected to one part of the Torah. Uh, is connected to uh, a, a, or an explanation in every part of the Torah because every word of Torah, every sentence of the Torah could be translated on uh, in, 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 in numerous ways. So each person is connected to every single part of the Torah. So uh, according to that, you could say that every Yid, if, if you have a Sefer that's based on uh, statements of, uh, of, of, of Gemara, every Yid is connected to it. But really, it's not 100% correct because um, there are so many explanations to every statement in Torah. You might translate it one way, but your soul is connected to a different type of way of of translating it. And therefore, even something that's based on chazal, on words of the rabbis, you could still say that my soul, it's possible that your soul is connected to a different translation of that, of that, or interpretation of that statement in the Talmud. And therefore, even such a sefer is not perfect uh, for every single person, meaning th- you would need someone to de- develop it and apply it to you. How does that apply to you? Oh, because you are connected to this shot or you're connected to that. I'll give you an example. Um, uh, one of the um, one of the essays that um, one of you wrote was a story where um, Reb Zusha, which we, we mentioned earlier, there was a famous Reb Zusha who gave a uh, endorsement to the Tanya. He was studying with the Alter Rebbe the first sentence of the Talmud. Uh, 
which we studied and we went over numerous times. From when does a person say Shema at night? So, Me'emasai. So, Reb Zusha, when he heard this, he fell to the ground in awe. And the Alter Rebbe was studying with him. He said, what just happened? Where are you? What, 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 are, you, what are you doing? You're crazy. And, and Reb Zusha said, you don't understand. I just, I just saw, I just felt such an awe of Hashem because I translated the word Me'emasai means from fear. Not from when do you say Shema, from fear you're supposed to say Shema at night. In other words, with awe of Hashem. And I, I, I felt a, a level of awe of Hashem. So in other words, Reb Zusha was connected to this different, uh, to, to that level of, of translation of, it's a deep uh, concept of how a person should should have awe. May Amosai, Kairin, with fear you're supposed to read Shema at night. That's the way he translated, meaning that he was connected to this type of translation of the, of, of course, it's a very, uh, deep layer of the of the, it's not the simple meaning and obviously he's connected to the simple meaning as well but there's a certain idea that the Reb Zusha was connected to this level of to every person is connected to a certain translation now when it comes to Jewish law we all have to follow the accepted law but there are um, inspirational uh, stories and statements that some people are more moved by this interpretation. Other people are going to be more moved by another interpretation. And all are correct. Elub, as we said, Elub, Elub, Dever, Lekim, Chaim. And uh, even in halacha, we have this in a certain sense, that before a halacha is finalized, there are different views. And we said that the, the um, that come, it's like Beis Hillel, Beis Shammai. So we basically, um, this is where we were up to yesterday, and I'm not going to take more of your time because it's already 11 o'clock. But um, I think we've gone over what we what we uh, studied. So we're we're in the middle. So hopefully next session on on um, on Monday we will uh, conclude the uh, hakdama, the introduction. Um, wish you all a very good Shabbos. If anyone would like to ask any questions.